The Prince has arrived. A man who has passed judgment on all of WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. Finn Balor! The Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. The Irish ace, ready for a fight. And his opponent, from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough is an Irish nobleman who walks with an air of distinction. And tonight, he's looking to throw hands. Yeah, McDonough's been on a rocket launch-like trajectory ever since entering NXT. He has these chilling eyes just to stare stares right through you and he's able to dismantle all comers mcdonough possesses skills so far beyond you have no choice but to become a believer well this man is taking aim at the prince guys he better not miss yeah, it takes a lot of guts to step up to a competitor like Finn Balor. But a win could change his career. whose time here in WWE has somewhat been defined by his uncanny ability to deliver when it comes to high-pressure situations. Cole, you sound surprised that a top star like Balor carries himself as such. If anything, you should be more concerned with his opposition, because if you come at the Prince, you best not miss. Balor certainly makes for one heck of a challenge in the ring. And then we've got the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, a true student in the art of combat. McDonough studied hard to become a gifted technician and has trained his body into a living weapon. He's also an ice cold sadist. The way McDonough smiles after taking a big hit or how he stares at his competition like they're a piece of meat, it's just downright frightening. someone's back and make him humble. How do you counter the camel clutch? He's prying their hands apart. It's <laughs> T.O. takedown. Turning the tables there. <laughs> Snapmare takedown. Oh my, single leg drop kick. What's the best way to contend with a devious and ruthless opponent like J.D. McDonough? You have to take the fight straight to McDonough and don't let him. You can't give him room to play dirty tricks. Trap him in one place with hard-hitting attacks. That hit wiped the sadistic smile off McDonough's face. 
Yeah, Balor putting his big match expertise to work there, making it look just effortless. McDonough wasting no motion on the counter and gets tossed back into the mat. Flying forearm. Point of the elbow, nailed it. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Wow. Jumping double stomp. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Ow! Shoulders down! Shoulders shoots up before two. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Yeah. Setting up. He's absorbed some damage already. Oh, face stop. Ireland's JD McDonough. Balor's in deep peril here. Two count kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. It not only takes strength to kick out there, it takes willpower. And Balor is showing that in spades. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Driving Hurricane Rana. Whoa! Looking for the victory! He gets the kick out after the one. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup.